welcome to my youtube channel today we'll be discussing indirect proportion indirect proportion is still the same thing as inverse proportion in our last video we've been able to iron out direct proportion we're able to explain that we have basically two types of proportion we have the direct proportion and the indirect proportion if you have not seen our video on direct proportion kindly check this youtube channel going to help you a lot you know the basic difference between direct and indirect proportion but on this video we we'll just focus our attention on indirect proportion now unlike direct proportion indirect proportion as one quantity increases the other quantity decreases if you have checked that video, we are able to explain that for direct proportion, as one quantity increases, the other also increases. But for indirect proportion, as one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases. So that's the basic difference between direct and indirect proportion. Let me give you some examples. Now, if more people share a task it will be done in less time that is if you have a task to perform if more people put hand to do it that means the time to perform that task will reduce that is an indirect proportion if you travel faster that means you will spend less time in that traveling so traveling at a faster speed means a trip will take less time that is an indirect proportion so the faster you travel the less time you spend so that is one of the major reasons why we say an indirect proportion is as one quantity increases the other quantity decreases so we have some questions here as we tackle these questions you will understand better that in an indirect proportion as one quantity decreases the other increases so let's say solution solution one So let's see what we can do. So let's get those questions up here. If three people can complete a task in four hours. How long will it take six people to complete the same task assuming the rate of work remains constant? If you are giving a task to three people and they complete that task in four hours, now you are adding six people, that means they will complete it in less hours. That is an indirect proportion. So that is what we are trying to explain at the beginning of this video. The more the people to complete the task, the less hour they are going to use. So let's see. We say three people. Three people. If okay, let's say if three people. If three people complete a task in four hours by implications six people will complete it in how many hours we don't know let's check it How many hours? We 
don't know. Six people will complete the task in how many hours? We don't know. Okay, let's quickly put it in perspective so that we can understand what we are trying to say. Now we'll say three people complete the task in four hours. So we'll say three people. Say six people in how many hours we don't know. Let's represent the hour with what with the letter Y. Beautiful. So what we are going to do now is now unlike direct proportion, you cross multiply. But the moment you know that this is an indirect proportion, you are not cross multiply. You are going to multiply what you have here with what you have here. That's what we are going to do. And you multiply what you have here with what you have here. It's as simple as that. So what do I mean? So you will see, multiplying these two now, 6 times y will give you what? 6y equal 3 times 4 here yeah. 3 times 4 here yeah, will give you what? 12 okay, let's put it in perspective beautiful so we now have our six y equals 3 times 4 give us what? 12 awesome so to get the value of our y don't forget the value of our y is the number of hours six people will do the job. Let's divide both sides by six. Awesome. Let's get the template. Here we have six y. We are dividing both sides by six. We have our equality sign here. Here we have twelve. Here we are dividing by six. Beautiful. So with that, our y can do what? Can stand alone if we are able to cut out. 6 cancel out 6. If 6 cancel out 6, we will be left with y here equal to 2. 12 divided by 6 will give us what? 2. 2 hours. Beautiful. That means if 3 people can do that same task in 4 hours, 6 people will do it in how many hours? 2 hours. That means as one quantity increases, the other decreases. Let's try and see the second question. So we we'll say solution number two. We we'll say solution two. Awesome. Let's see what the question is saying. If it takes 21 days for 12 men to claim plot of land. Find how many men will clear the same portion of land in 42 days, assuming the work rate remains constant. As one quantity increases, the other decreases. So we'll go through the same process. If it takes 21 days for 12 men to clear a plot of land, So if it takes how many days? 21 days for 12 men to 
clear a land. If it takes 21 days for 12 men to clear a land, so how many days will it take? What is the question saying? Let's check. Find how many men, okay? How many men will clear that same portion for 42 days? How many men? How many men will clear it for 42 days? So, So 42 days now. Okay, let's put it this way. If it takes 12 men to play for 21 days, still the same. If it takes 12 men. Takes twelve men to clear the land for for the two days. Is that twenty one days? Twenty one days. So it takes twelve men. Clear a land for 21 days. So, how many men? So, we don't know the men. So, let's say why men. Since we don't know the number of men, why men will clear it for 42 days? Awesome. So, 12 men cleared a land for 12 days why men will clear it for 42 days now it means you have longer days now you have longer days so you should have lesser men this time around because as one quantity increases the other decreases 12 men for 21 days now they are will be giving more days 42 days we should have lesser men since this quantity has increased this one should decrease okay let's see Let's see what we have. So now this now can say 12 men be clear. 12 men be clear for 21 days. Awesome. Then we don't know the number of men that will clear for 42 days. Let's see why. Because we don't know. Why we clear for how many days? They're giving 42 days. Now that the days has increased, that means the number of people that will work should decrease. So, as one quantity increases, the other decreases. So, we multiply in this form. This multiply by this. At the same time, this multiply by this beautiful so let's see what we can do so we say 42 times y will give us 42 y so we say 12 times 21 that's what we are going to do 12 multiplied by 21 beautiful so with this we can now say we say 12 times 21 is going to give us 252 beautiful so what are we going to do now we divide both sides by 42 what 42 awesome so that our y can stand in that our y will be the number of men that will play for 42 days 
get get the templates awesome to 42 y equal to 5 q that's what we have here 42 y okay we are dividing by 42 we have our equality sign we have two 5 q here so we are dividing by what for this two beautiful So that's our y okay for then this 42 will cancel out this 42 that we have here so we are left with y that we have here so if you punch your calculator 252 divided by 42 that should give you 6 so we have 6 men awesome as you can see like we said earlier that 12 men will play for 12 days. Now that the days have been increased to 42, that means the men should, increase, should decrease to 6 men. As one quantity increases, the other decreases. You can always pause, rewind this video for better clarification and understanding. Can you drop a comment with us if you have any issue with any of our video or this one in particular? Help us like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel my simple mass kindly help press the notification bell so that you can always get notification from us whenever we post a new video thank you